Hey everyone, it's James Lambert, the motivational coach and speaker. I went from knockouts to knowledge and from headlocks to hugs. I still embrace people, just now in a far more positive way. So I'm focusing on my favourite picture, all about love. And today, maybe more than ever, I want us to concentrate on love. Here in the, in the United Kingdom, we've all woke up to the news that we've left Europe. And of course, change is a very uncomfortable emotion and there's a lot of fear out there. So I, as always and as usual, want to do my part to ally those fears and to focus on what's truly important, that heart. Love, love will win the day. And hopefully to further help, I want to share a little story that will hopefully put things in perspective for you. This is an old Zen cone. Maybe so, maybe not, we'll see. So there is a Chinese proverb that goes something like this. A farmer and his son had a beloved stallion who helped the family earn a living. One day, the horse ran away, and their neighbours exclaimed, Your horse ran away! What terrible luck! The farmer replied, Maybe so, maybe not. We'll see. A few days later, the horse returned home, leading a few wild mares back to the farm as well. The neighbours shouted out, Your horse has returned, and brought several horses home with him. What great luck! The farmer replied, Maybe so, maybe not. We'll see. Later that week, the farmer's son was trying to break one of the mares, and she threw him to the ground, breaking his leg. The villagers cried, Your son broke his leg. What terrible luck! The farmer replied, maybe so, maybe not, we'll see. A few weeks later, soldiers from the National Army marched through town, recruiting all the able-bodied boys for the army. They did not take the farmer's son, still recovering from his injury. Friends shouted, your boy is spared, what tremendous luck! To which the farmer replied, Maybe so, maybe not. We'll see. The moral of this story is, of course, that no event, particularly today's news about England pulling out of the EU, it can truly, in and of itself, be judged as good or bad, lucky or unlucky. Time will tell the story. And so this is not the time for panic. This is not the time for negativity. This is a time to again refocus on love and that which unites us and not divides us. Focus on positivity. Focus on thriving. Focus on having outstanding health. Focus on having abundance in all areas of your life, relationship-wise, with your money, great health, and fun, laughter, happiness, joy, all the good things. Focus on that, not what you worry about and fear. And so, like that story has demonstrated, you know, whatever way people say, particularly those that are focusing on the negative, maybe so, maybe not, we'll see. But in the meantime, let's all love each other, let's be kind, let's be positive. And that's what's brilliant about being human and alive now, focusing on the positive. Anyway, much love to you. I hope you found great value in the video. And remember, you are unstoppable and I believe in you.